Every edit one makes to a film is destructive. The film itself is destructive in opposition to its raw footage. This video essay is destructive. But I find the fetish of the movie still particularly destructive in its desire to create objects out of what could exist more fully as an experience that emphasizes what Laura Marx calls the tactile and contagious quality of cinema. Smelling is a contagious process. Molecules move from the aromatic object to the smell receptors in your nose. In opposition to visuality, to invoke smell is to be dependent on the object while at once destroying it. There is a fetishism in the olfactory procedure, in that to be dependent upon an object affirms not only the materiality of one's body, but the incompleteness of oneself. To smell something is to suddenly exist outside of the self, inherently tied to the object of destruction through the nose. But it's not always so literal. Marx argues that film is a process of invoking memory reconstruction, and one that can reconstruct the tactile experience within the audiovisual constraints. Through the destruction of ocular-centric footage, sensual experience is created. In an interview with Zvika Serper, Juzu Itami stated that he wished to reveal all the sensual aspects of food and eating, such as touching, licking, and biting. Before Tampopo, no one had concentrated on these elements, which have such a special charm in cinema. Whether it works for or against me to have seen the film a few dozen times, I find Atami's Tampopo to be particularly successful in communicating tactility in both its structure and its audiovisual presentation. The vignette style of the film compels the viewers to remain active, while its imagery compels sensual participation. You cannot look away, for you might miss something, and what you don't miss, you will feel. In Tampopo, the food is not just beautiful. There is a particular quality of excess in the movie that at once ensures a participation in the on-screen gustatory pleasure, and at the same time nudges the viewer to lean in to the erotic tactility of the dishes on screen. Food that cannot be stared at can be heard. The crunches, slurps, and gulps live in the realm of the hyper-real, at risk of preceding, destroying our concepts of what real food sounds, smells, and tastes like. There is a common conception about memories, one that I actually couldn't tell you if it was true or not, but it's that a moment can only be remembered once. Each memory beyond the first is rewriting over reality with your brain's best attempt at recounting the last time you remembered it. For a film to call upon tactile memory is also for it to destroy it as it breaks down the boundaries between the food on screen and everything you bring in front of it. I don't know if I could tell you what ramen actually smelled like anymore. <laughs> <laughs>